Hi, this is Professor Lazarus again, continuing our discussion on adjusting entries. This time we will talk about adjusting entries involving supplies. Supplies is a deferred expense, just as prepaids were a deferred expense. For all the same reasons that I mentioned earlier in the discussion on prepaids as to why that's a deferred expense, supplies follows the same pattern for being a deferred expense. So on January 1st, we purchased $500 of supplies and paid cash. Again, on January 1st, we bought, purchased $500 of supplies and paid cash. So we debit supplies to increase our supplies account, credit cash to reduce our cash. And that's our journal entry to record the initial purchase. Now let's fast forward to the end of the month. When we fast forward to the end of the month, we take a physical count of how much supplies is left. And when we take account, we find out that we have $200 of supplies left on hand. Remember, we bought 500 at the beginning of the month. Now we have 200 left. What does that mean? That means, assuming that there was no theft and no spoilage, you used up $300 of supplies. So if you have used up $300 of supplies, we now need to make an adjusting entry on January 31st to show the consumption, the usage of $300 of supplies. That's your supplies expense account that would reflect the consumption. But in the process of using up the supplies, what did that do to your supplies balance? Your supplies balance went down. So therefore, the second account that would be affected in your adjusting entry would be the supplies account. So your supplies account gets credited to reduce it. Your supplies ex expense account gets debited to increase it. So your adjusting entry at the end of the month would be debit supplies expense for $300 and credit supplies for $300. Be careful because $300, you're making the entry for what was consumed, not for what was left behind. Remember, we had $200 left behind, but the consumption was $300. So the entry you're making, the adjusting entry you're making is to show how much supplies you used up, $300. Okay. The next question then is what would be the effect on the financial statements if you forgot to make this adjusting entry? If you get this question in the exam, it would be helpful to write out the adjusting entry first. So when you write it out, then it's easier to answer it in terms of what would happen or what would be the effect on the financial statements if you did not make the entry. So in this case, if you did not, if you did not make the entry, what would happen is your supplies expense would be understated, would go down, and as a result of that, your net income would be overstated. Your net income would increase, and your net income gets closed out into retail earnings or capital, so your equity also would be overstated. At the same time, your supplies asset also would be overstated. So this would be the effect on the financial statements if you did not, or if you omitted, the adjusting entry for supplies. The next question here is, are the books still in balance if you omitted this entry? And the answer is a resounding yes. Your books are going to be wrong, but they will still be in balance. How can I say that? Well, let's look at the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. And a minute ago, I told you that if you did not make the entry, your assets would be overstated. So your left side is too high. There was no effect on your liabilities, no change there but your equity also will be overstated because as I just mentioned again, your net income was going to be overstated and net income gets closed out into your equity accounts like retained earnings or capital. So assets are overstated on the left side, equity is overstated on the right side, both by the same amounts. So you will still be in balance, but again, your accounts are all wrong in there. And this again is a danger in accounting. You could be lulled into a false sense of security because you are in balance and you assume that everything is correct, but as I just demonstrated to you, you are in balance, but your numbers are wrong, or the account uh, balances could be uh, incorrect in there. And so this basically will conclude our discussion on adjusting entries involving supplies. Thank you.